Welcome to the weekly announcements here at Calvary United Methodist Church. What a glorious Easter celebration we had last Sunday. The weather was perfect, the birds were singing, and we were able to gather again to celebrate the risen Christ. For the first time in several years, we brought back the sunrise service. And it was a marvelous Sunday morning as we watched the sun rise over the columbarium and over the front of the church. We were excited to see about 30 of our friends, some that we haven't seen in a while, come out and join us for the service. Next, we moved to the CLC, where we welcomed about 50 people. Well, we had about 50 families join us online as we again celebrated the risen Lord. At 10.30 a.m., we moved outside to the north parking lot, and there we were greeted by about 250 folks who socially distanced across the parking lot, and we were able to share the good news with that God literally and figuratively is turning the world upside down. I hope you will continue to join us in the CLC at 8.15 or in the north parking lot at 10.30 a.m. I will be preaching a series of sermons called Living the Resurrection, and I hope you will join us during this season of Easter. Remember, if you plan to attend the 815 worship service, please go to calvaryumc.com slash worship reservations to reserve your seat so you continue to join us on, in person. You can also continue to watch online as we will be streaming that service live at 815 a.m. You can go to the website, click live worship, and watch it then, or you can also come back later on and then click worship anytime. Children's worship will continue to meet at 1015 in Masters Common. It was great last week to see so many of our children here for the Easter egg hunt and to see them back in children's worship again. It was good to see you and your family here. In the 815 worship service, we will also return to the celebration of Holy Communion. Before the pandemic, Holy Communion was a vital part of the 815 worship experience, and we want to bring that back. We will also continue to have communion at the 1030 worship service as well. You know, Holy Communion is a holy moment that unites us around a common table. It's a place we also find the risen Christ among us. As we gather around this table and take these common elements of bread and juice, we experience the grace of God over and over again in our life. In the United Methodist Church, we believe Holy Communion is more than a ritual. It's Christ's real presence with us as we gather together. If you plan to join us virtually for this service at 815, we want to extend our communion table with you and your family. There are three ways that you can be ready to join us in Holy Communion. Number one, you can come by the church office between 9 and 12 on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and you can pick up communion kits and make them available for your family at home. You can also email me and I'll be glad to, to set another time aside where we can get together and I can bring you communion kits so that your family can have them. Or you can simply pick up bread and grape juice at the grocery store and have it available at home with you when we bless our elements. The Staff Parish Relations Committee is excited to announce that in July, Reverend Peter Von Ace is joining the Calvary Church staff as our Minister of Congregational Care. In case you missed that on Thursday in From Our Hill, I wanted to make that announcement and share that good news with you. He'll be serving on a part-time basis. He'll be visiting members and constituents who are homebound and or living in nursing or assisted living facilities. Reverend Von Ace will also be able to assist us in worship and preach on occasion. As many of you know, Reverend Peter Von Ace retired last year and he's been keeping himself busy by serving in interim appointments around the Tennessee Conference. And it's one of these interim appointments that's keeping him from joining our staff just a little bit earlier. But we want Peter to finish out his appointment and then we will welcome him here in July to be part of the Calvary Church staff. It'll be good to have his gifts in place here in, in, in Calvary again. And we are excited to welcome Peter and Patty back home again. The Hilltoppers are back. Our next session is coming up on Thursday, April 22nd at 11 a.m. Dr. Carol Busey, who is Davidson County historian and a professor of history at Volunteer State Community College will be leading our session and we hope you will join us. We are looking for some people to serve on our hospitality team to help us welcome folks into the building at 815 and welcome people into the parking lot at 1030 a.m. If you'd like to serve on our hospitality team, welcoming our members and our guests, 
please let Pastor Stephanie know at stephanie at calvaryumc.com. You know, we are a people of prayer. So we invite you to continue to pray for our healthcare workers. While we want the pandemic to be over, we also know that there are many places across our country that are seeing surges again. I encourage you to go and get vaccinated when you can. Tennessee is now allowing all adults over the age of 16 to be vaccinated. I received my second vaccination on March 13th. Sure, I felt a little tired for a couple of days and I had a little bit of nauseousness, but it was nothing compared to what many of my friends have faced when they actually contracted the virus. So I encourage you, go get vaccinated when you can. I invite you this week to pray for those who continue to be in the hospital, those who are recovering from surgery, pray for those who are facing chemo and medical treatments, pray for all those on our concerns list and from our hill. Pray for our church and our church community. I hope you will join us this Sunday for worship. It looks like the weather will be picture perfect almost exactly the same as last week. I hope you will join us for this new series titled Living the Resurrection. We will be talking about the story of Doubting Thomas and the sermon title is Unless I See. Have a good weekend. See you soon. Bye.